D45 Tech Talks and the Smart Board Revolution Google Plus community presents a smart survival guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is the text pen in Notebook 14, and of course, all of the versions of Notebook after that. The first thing that I want to show is if you are a language teacher, if you think you're going to use the text pen a lot, you're going to want to customize the toolbar to give you quick access to it. Now to do that, you're going to look for the gear icon. It may be at the bottom if you've moved your toolbar to the bottom. So you tap the gear. You're going to get your toolbar options here. The text pen is a tool, so you have to go to the tools section and here are your options here's the text pen down here and i'm going to drag it up to the toolbar now if i put it here in one of these squares when they turn blue it will replace that tool i'm going to use it a lot so i'm going to actually put it here on one of the lines where i get the full line that shows up in blue like any one of those even here at the end i'm going to let it go that's going to give me a large one now, if there are other tools in here that you think you're going to use, you can do the same thing. You know, if you use a highlighter a lot, you could put it there and now you've got both of them if you don't want two big buttons. Learning how to customize that toolbar is a great thing and there is a video that shows a little bit more about that. So now I have my text pen here. When you pick up a pen, right here you have all of your pen choices and there's the text pen right there but if I'm gonna use it a lot I don't wanna to have to go through those steps I wanna just be able to tap my text pen button so here are the editing gestures that you can do with a text pen circle a letter or word if you wanna change it pick up a pen I am on the pen tool but I want the text tool so I tap that so I can circle the word change Now the choices here at the bottom, the first one on the left, the bold one is the one that will be selected if you tap the check mark. Sometimes when that happens, it puts the two words together, the word that you changed and the following word. Number two here, draw a vertical line to add a space. If I put a vertical line through there, it adds the space back. That's the second editing gesture. Draw a horizontal line to delete a letter, space, or word. So if I want to get rid of the word it here, I draw a horizontal line through it, and that letter disappears. Now the period was there with it, so the period disappeared, which lets me do the bottom one here, use a caret to insert a word. Oh, well, of course, it's not that kind of a caret. So if I want to put my period back, I can put a caret, period, went in the wrong place, undo. If you do a do you don't want to do, you undo. There's a space in between that I don't need, a little horizontal line in between them, and there it is. So you can use the caret to insert a word, letter, or punctuation. Now, I don't have enough room there to put punctuation, so I'm just going to write the word underneath here. And that shows you another feature of the text pen. When you write with the text pen, after a few seconds, it recognizes it. And then if you tap the check, it will accept it. Or if you just wait another second or two, it will accept it automatically. Notice what happened. I put the pen down, and it reverted back to the normal pen. So if you put the pen down and you want the text pen, you have to go back and select the text pen. So a little horizontal line to get rid of that period. Let's take a look at writing with the text pen. So as we kind of saw on the last page there, you can write text and it automatically changes. Now notice that both lines were separate text boxes. You can select different colors by selecting a different color. Notice also that once I have finished, I can go to my select tool. Then I can 
double click inside the text box and then resize it with one of the handles on either side since that text came in even though it was on two lines I didn't pause between the first line and the second line so it came in as one text object so I was able to resize the text box to put it on one line and now I can drag over this part if I wanted to I can group the two if I need them to move together and now that this has changed I can go in and edit it I have the red pen in my hand but when I go to the text pen it selects black by default it doesn't select the color so if I went and tried to edit this notice that it made it black and because I grouped these two text sections it moved the word by over and it kind of squished together with the word selecting it didn't move that over but I can still add my space what do I do now I have this green and the black what do I do well in version 14.3 one thing that you can do is change the color of text You couldn't do that in the previous versions so if I tap the green text pen button I can do it a couple of ways the easiest way is to draw a line through it and then back so a horizontal line back and forth through the letter or words or line that you want to change and it changes to whatever color you select so that is version 14.3 and above the other way of doing it is to select the color that you want circle the word or letter or letters that you want and then tap the check mark so you can horizontal line back and forth or circle a letter or words and tap the check mark and you're not limited to the four colors here in the choices you can come in and select any color and do the same thing so this is great pedagogically if you are talking about adjectives and you make all adjectives purple so as you're adding and editing a piece together on the board when you add an adjective you make it purple when you add a verb or do something to a verb you make it green nouns are always blue whatever using color is a great teaching tool that helps the learning you can also edit pre-typed text with the text pen where can that text come from here I have a web page time for kids maybe we want to analyze this and do some close reading so I can select text from here control C to copy it or right click on it and copy go back to my notebook page and control V paste now on a smart board your text should never be smaller than about 26 otherwise it's going to be hard to read click once on the text box and get the blue dotted outline then I can come in and change my text size I could also get text from a word document same thing copy it control C or right click copy go back to notebook control V paste or right click in the white area and select paste single click on the box and change the size so I've gotten it from a web page a word document a PDF control C control V and finally I could just start typing my own text you don't need to go to the text tool button up here if you don't want if you just start typing it will use the default font and the default size if it's too big go ahead and change it so the text pen works on all of this so we had this pre-typed text but we wanted to change all the nouns to blue students can come up select the text pen select blue uh, March that's a noun NASA astronaut Scott Kelly cosmonaut then maybe we are going to do the verbs in green and again the adjectives maybe in purple maybe a student says wait wait 
NASA is describing, yes, it, it is a noun, but here it's describing the astronaut. So should that be an adjective? Russian, is that an adjective there? Year long, describing the mission. That's how you can change color. And maybe you use it for vowel patterns. All year you use green for long vowel sounds, blue for short vowel sounds. Here's a good one. Here's a long vowel, OA. So to do individual letters, it's better to do the circle method. Short I, blue. That's another way that you could use the color changing. Change the color of the editable text. You select your text pen. You've got your four normal choices here. If you want another color, you can select it from there. Insert new text with a selected color. Select that color. Insert the new text. Circle the text that you want to change or the horizontal line. These are still some editing gestures that I think Smart needs to implement in the text pen. A lot of schools use the three lines underneath to indicate that something should be capitalized or a diagonal through to make it lowercase. Those are pretty common editing marks. In my opinion, those are things that uh, they need to implement. So I hope this has given you a vision some ideas of how you can use that text pen in instruction also using color to make working with text and different concepts related to text stand out and memorable for students to enhance the learning give it a try i think you'll find it to be a very important tool to use when working with text